Hello and welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about the feature of LabVIEW called Channel Wars and we'll be discussing about the tag-based communication using Channel Wars. Consider you have got two loops and you need to pass the data from one loop to the another. Now I want to generate the data from the loop on the left hand side and then send that data to the loop onto the right hand side. So I'll create a control and if I want to send the data I need to change that to indicator and if it looks like if we, I want to connect the wire it does not actually work. The main reason is because it breaks the data flow and only the loop on the left hand side is executing while the right hand side is not executing. I can verify that by running the highlight execution. As you can see the loop on the left hand side is executing. Only the loop on the right hand side will execute if and only if the loop on the left hand side has been completed. So only way to pass the data is by using the methods like local variables or global variables. So this is how I send the data. And as you can see, I'm able to send it. Uh, but uh, <coughs> using local variables are going to be a little bit difficult to understand because like, uh, we cannot actually know where the data is coming from. So what if we would be able to pass the data using a wire? So from LabVIEW 2016, the new feature is available, which is called Channel Wars. So you just need to right click on any of the object and then create writer, then you will get the option. In this case, we selected the tag based communication. Tag based communication means the last value only, you will be able to pass only one data at a time. So every time I use the tag based communication, only one last value is there. So in this case, we write the data into my writer and then I can pass the wire through to the next loop and here I create the read and I'll just connect it. Uh, if you want to see what are the features you can just use the context help and then see as you can see it supports the timeout as well and I'll just connect. So basically in this case I'm able to pass the data using the wire. So channel wires provides you the possibility to pass the data between two asynchronous processes or two different loops. And if you need to pass the data between the both, you can use that. So if you compare on the top, you won't be able to pass the data using WAR. In the bottom one, you can pass the data. So it provides reliability as well as readability. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos.